Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? There's been 130 small earthquakes in the Yellowstone National Park since that 4.5 earthquake hit uh, uh, back on June 15th. So here we are, okay, four days later, we're realizing that the, it's the largest earthquake in Yellowstone National Park in the last three years. It was 4.5, followed by a swarm of 130 small quakes. Uh, several of those small quakes were even over 2.5 to 3.5. So, I mean, we're talking about significant. Uh, the earth is shaking and quaking. The devil's back is breaking. The birthing pains of the end times are upon us. And, we're, and NASA's been flying over top with their infrared uh, telescope from that special plane they have. And they're very concerned. They're watching the, the molten magma uh, in the core of the earth. They see the molten magma moving. And uh, so, you know, look, we've not seen, we've not had a super volcanic eruption in our lifetime. We don't know what it would mean other than it would mean uh, a cataclysmic, uh, catastrophic, apocalyptic, uh, 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 an event of biblical proportion if and when this thing decides to go. It would certainly wipe out a third of the world population for the most part simply because the Western Hemisphere would be virtually in a state of shambles not everybody would be dead but it would be absolutely chaos it'd be a winter for like three to four years and nothing would grow and there'd be just absolute chaos and probably wormwood in the water and we just don't know what all it could mean so this is a very significant thing you got to pay attention to it i mean you just can't ignore it 130 earthquakes right on the right on right on the super volcano in yellowstone national park you have to pay attention and what does it all mean well one thing it means is time is running out and people need to give their life to Jesus Christ because we're certainly living in the last days. Now, Doug and Joe Hagman are going to join me today. It's going to be a powerful show. I don't want you to miss it. Please don't. We're going to be uncovering the deep state, realizing that the days we're living in has gotten so evil, so evil and so uh, uh, wicked uh, that uh, the dangers are everywhere now. We're talking wars, rumors of wars not only between nations out there, but within our, within our own nation. And this is getting serious. With the congressman being targeted for assassination and with a congressman from Louisiana right now, Steve Scalise, still in very st uh, serious condition. I mean, uh, critical condition, uh, near death. Uh, this has been a very, very, uh, uh, he came so close to dying that doctors felt death was imminent. Uh, we're really living in the last days. And what if this man had shot and killed all six on his list? Or was this a threat from the deep state, a message to Donald Trump and to his right-wing conservative uh, uh, Congress members, members of Congress, that they better uh, back down? Was this, was this what this, is this the beast? Is this the teeth of the beast? Is this the new world order? Is this the biblical beast in the Bible? I believe so. And it's taking place right now. And then we've got, of course, in London, another situation. A man runs over. Uh, he, he injures 10, kills one, running him over outside of a mosque in London on Ramadan. This, this is the situation that's just out of control. London is certainly falling down in the chaos. And then we know the United States shot down a Syrian plane. We're hearing that the, some soldiers may have even been killed, U.S. soldiers in Raqqa fighting ISIS. We know that there's a lot going on. Russia says they may have killed al-Baghdadi of ISIS, but we can't get a total confirmation. We've heard that so many times before. And we just see nothing but chaos in the land. So the volcanoes, the Bible says in the last days, there'll be false Christ and false prophets shall rise, and they shall deceive many. See that you be not troubled. For all these things are going to come to pass because there's going to be wars and rumors of wars. Nations are going to rise against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. Famines, pestilence, earthquakes, all of it in diverse places. It's at the beginning of sorrows. We're seeing the persecution on the body of Christ. We know that because iniquity bound, the love of many is waxing cold. 
we, we were told to endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And then, of course, the third temple that would set up the opportunity for the Antichrist to walk in and declare that he is God before the worshipers of God uh, in the temple of God. Matter of fact, it's the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet. So we're watching Jesus Christ's prophecies come to pass right before our very eyes, and most people still don't know it because they're being told the book of Revelation is in past tense, that it's over, there is no more, uh, that it's, it's already happened, which is a ludic- it's just ludicrous to think that people are teaching that in the Christian faith, but they are. And this is leading, leading people to a false narrative that there is no return of Christ. That is a lie. The last day said they would be saying those very things. They would say, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, everything's the same as it always been. And that is going to be the moment that Christ will catch them unaware like a thief in the night. When they least expect it, the Messiah will come and every mountain's going to be moved, folks. Every island moved out of its place. Every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess and every eye is going to behold him. He is the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Yellowstone is shaken. Time is running out. Call on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation before it's too late. 22 people got saved last night in our live broadcast. We're hoping more today. Are you saved?